Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing on today? dryer my dryer was getting hot and it like dried like a couple of clothes actually dried like two loads of my clothes uh oh this camera's gonna fall back but it dried like two loads of my clothes and then once I put that third load of clothes in the dryer how about my dryer kept cutting off and I was like what in the world is going on here so I called my husband and I was just like, I don't know what's going on, but I think the dryer finna go out. So, um, I think I went in the kitchen and realized that my clothes was just sitting, sitting in the dryer and the dryer had cut off. So I cut the dryer back on. You know, it was going or whatever. And then I went back in there and I realized that it wasn't even getting warm. So I was just like, okay. So I was talking to my husband. I was just like, no, the dryer not even getting warm no more. It's like, I don't know what's wrong with it. It keep cutting, cutting on and off. So then I turned the dryer back on again because when I opened it up and realized that it wasn't getting warm, I closed it back up and turned it back on again. And I was just like, okay, so we're going to see if it's going to get hot or is this dryer trying to cuck out on us? So I closed it back, turned it back on. And how about when I walked out of the kitchen, came back, the dryer cut back off. So that's when I knew then, I said, I'm gonna leave it off. I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm gonna go run up here to the dryer, take these this one last load to the dryer and dry these clothes. And uh, I just told my husband, I was just like, when you get home, just see what the problem is. So when Lewis got home, he went to the breakers to try to see if it was the, the uh, you know, if one of the plugs went out or something like that, it wasn't even that because the dryer was still cutting on and off. So I knew it went the breakers. So he just reset it to see if, you know, if that was the problem. So, nope, it wasn't. So we turned the dryer back on again, which Lewis turned the dryer back on again just to see if it was going to get hot before we made our final decision of, of like, okay, so we just going to have to get us a new dryer. So he turned it back on again and realized that the dryer wasn't even cutting on no more. It just completely stopped. So guess what? I got to go run up here to Home Depot. I got to look at some new dryers because we don't have a dryer anymore, y'all. So me and Louis, the old dryer that we had, we literally got that dryer, took it, put it on the curb. Child, we put that dryer on the curb, baby. I'm going to tell y'all, it wasn't a good 20 minutes. Somebody had came and got it. I guess they thought that <laughs> that they can fix it. Or in, here in Memphis, when they see stuff like that on the street, girl, they'll take that stuff to, um, I don't know what that place called. But they'll take it to this place and they'll get money off the parts. So somebody came around our neighborhood within like, I ain't gonna even say 20 minutes, probably like 15 minutes, child. I looked out my window and Lewis said, babe, the dryer already gone. 
I was just like, somebody came and got the dry that quick. They don't even not know what's wrong with it. But child, they got it off our curb with the quickness. I was just like, mm, well, it's time for us to go search for a new dryer. So that's another thing that I have to go do, y'all. Go looking for a new dryer. And Lord knows, I wasn't planning on buying no dryer. I wasn't. But gotta do what we gotta do y'all i don't even know how long we had that dry i think somebody blessed us with that dryer like three four years ago and it lasted this long so i'm thankful that the dryer lasts this long but baby that's one thing that i just knew i wasn't planning on doing and it's buying a dryer but it is what it is y'all gonna go up in this dentist chair so y'all it feels so good out here it's 70. Jemiah, there's your friends. <laughs> Y'all, it feels so good out here. Oh my gosh, I think it's like 73 or 70 something because it don't even feel like it's one of them. It feels so good. Jemiah, do they go to your school? They go to your school? Look at her, y'all. She's embarrassed. So they got a dentist appointment, just like you, sweetie poo. Y'all, they're snug. She got her hair braided. Remember I tell y'all I had to go get her hair braided? She got her hair braided last week, child. I'm so glad she got it braided because I just don't like putting her hair in a ponytail when I get off work, so. How are you? I'm so glad it ain't that many people up in here. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm over. There's Jemiah, y'all. These are her little friends. Y'all see her friends right there? They at the dentist, too. Anyway, I'll see y'all in a minute, okay? Look at Jemiah, y'all. <laughs> so, y'all, Jemiah has to get some x rays. Y'all see her over there? <laughs> So, just walking out of the dentist, you guys. They told me that Jemiah needs to start flossing a little bit more. Because she does not. She just brushes, so she don't do a lot of flossing. Something must be nasty to her. <laughs> oh, that's funny. They told me that she has vitamins on her teeth like medication they put on her teeth so she cannot eat or drink anything for 30 minutes so I hope you're not hungry <laughs> Jamal your mouth hurting huh oh okay well I'm just letting you know that while I'm at the grocery store you cannot be trying to eat or drink anything. What are you doing, child? <laughs> Look at her, y'all. She trying to see if her teeth clean. That's why I have perfect teeth. You have yeah, perfect... You, what you say? You got perfect teeth. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. That's what they told you. Oh, I got perfect teeth. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jamal is something else, y'all. Well... I have to go to the groceries. Can you take me home? No. It's not like I can get nothing. Yes, you can. You have to get everything that you need. I'm not buying a lot of food, so I'm not finna take you. I'm finna do a little grocery shopping, but I'm not finna take you all the way back home, and I have to go up here to this store up here. No, ma'am, I am not. Let me put this down. So you have to rolls with your mother and I just got it I just got a text message from your school. Darn, you know what I forgot to get? Y'all, I gotta go back in here. Cause I gotta get a uh I gotta get her a dentist note saying that she was out of school today. I forgot all about that. I just walked out and didn't even ask for no no uh 
no absent school note and I need one. Just got a text message from her school stating that today they last day of school for spring break. I didn't know that because she was going to go to school tomorrow. So wait a minute. So I'll be right back. Let me go run up in here right quick, y'all. A few moments later. Hey, I'm back. Ciao. <laughs> She must have knew I was gonna come back in there. Look, she already had my little slip ready for me. <laughs> but I'm gonna run up here to Jamaya's school because, what was I telling y'all? I was telling y'all about a text message that I just received from her school stating that she um, was gonna be out of school tomorrow, which tomorrow is Friday, today is Thursday. Their spring break starts on Monday. So I'm gonna run up here to the school right quick, hand them over this this dental note and uh since she wasn't at school today she can go ahead and run in her classroom classrooms and get Me? yes you are what, I'm, no, that's not how it works. what do you mean that's not how it works what do you mean that's not how it works sweetie poo snugger they might give y'all a spring break packet something that you have to work on you know no, you're out of school for a week, darling. Yes, you are. Um, I think it says y'all don't go back to school until the 30th. That's in a week, baby. I'm gonna look at my calendar because y'all spring break is not supposed to last for no two whole weeks. It's supposed to last for a week. Huh? Let me see. Yes, I can. If you read it, we don't have school for two weeks. I got that same uh text message on my phone. So y'all go back to school March 30th. Am I correct? Yes, y'all do. I have school. I'm gonna go up here to your school and see because they said that. Let me look at my phone. My phone literally just said, let me put this down. My phone just said that today was y'all last day. There will be no school for tomorrow for the high school. The middle school has to go to school. So let me read this. Let me read this message right quick that they just sent me. Wait a minute, y'all. Let me get actually I'm just going since I'm not too far from the school since I'm trying to read some and drive at the same time I'm just gonna wait till I get up here to the school right quick but the text message literally said that y'all were out of school for tomorrow high school only though so the middle school over here I think they just got like a half a day or something because they still have to go to school. Y'all are the ones that are out tomorrow. But I'm gonna go up in here and make sure and see. Because if you you wanna go to school and they out, baby doll, you can't go. I'm gonna see y'all in a minute, okay? A few moments later. All right, y'all, I'm back. So, let me tell them. Sorry about that. <laughs> Y'all, I was on they, uh, uh-huh. <laughs> I think I drove on a water hose because they over here fixing on some stuff up here. At, uh, hello. Fixing on some stuff up here at her school. But, no, Jemiah, this is the deal. Um, your counselor said I that... Have a counselor. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, no, no. <laughs> Jemiah has a school counselor that deals with her personally. Who, who is it? If I don't even I, know the person. I don't even, I forgot the man's name, but the lady that hey. called me. No, the man that's in the office here. But the lady, mm. the you know the lady because she called Jones, me. That's not my counselor. That's not her. Teacher, that is not a counselor. So who is your uh, no, the counselor in that 
is, is, is not even... Miss Jones is not even my counselor. I don't even talk to the counselor. The counselor not even... No, the counselor talks to me, sweetie. They call the me. Name? They call me all the time. Well, that's probably her because that's what she calls herself. Miss Jones, that's probably her. She calls herself. Miss Jones is not the counselor. She's a homeless. Yeah, but she calls herself. Miss Vaughn is the only counselor in that school. No, I haven't talked to Miss Vaughn. So that's not my counselor. But Miss Jones is the one that I literally talk to personally about you. Now, the man that I just got through talking to, he said that you can either, when you get back from spring break, it's up to your teacher to let you make up make up your your test because you did have a test in in science class today so it's up to her but either or he told me that you will not get a zero I told you. so they're not going to make it to the point where you're when you get back to school you just got a complete zero for not showing up at school but you were excused since i gave them that note also, you do not have school tomorrow. That's what she just told me. So y'all are out on Friday. Today was y'all last day. The middle school has to go to school tomorrow. And they getting out early. But y'all are completely out. So, are you happy about that? <laughs> Did you want to go to school? Huh? You wanted to go to school tomorrow, Snook. <laughs> well, baby dolls, you are out. You trying to do what? You trying to go who? Where Maida going? I, if I don't know where Maida going, baby, you can't go. I ain't finna just send you off with your cousin and I don't know where y'all going. I need to know. And you know what happened to you the last time you was with Maida and them. You came back home with the flu. You don't know that. You really don't. So you got to be very careful. There's a lot of sickness going around out here. You have to keep your hands clean. Make sure you cover your mouth even when you see somebody else coughing make sure you cover up or move away from them you gotta keep yourself you know from getting sick baby doll <laughs> anyways y'all i'm headed up here to the grocery store hopefully i don't buy a whole bukus of food because i'm not planning on buying a whole 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 lot today i'm just getting a couple of items because we are running low on some stuff and um I'm trying to figure out I'm, I'm gonna head to Walmart grocery this time y'all because I was gonna go to Kroger up here but I'm not gonna go to Kroger I'm gonna go ahead and go to Walmart and just grab what I need because I know it's some it's some house stuff that I also need as well and like me some personals and stuff like that so go ahead and go to Walmart. I think I have to go to um no I don't. I don't think I do. Let's go ahead to Dollar Tree. But I'm trying to remember what it is that I need from Dollar Tree today. I may not go. Because I still know I got to go to Home Depot and look for a dryer. So, I may not do that. I just, I just probably just hit up Walmart, guys, and do what I need to do. And, um, I think that's pretty much it. I think, y'all. Not for sure. So, y'all, I've made it it. Wally World. I am over here in the little cookie crackers and little, little snack section. And what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to pick up me like some healthy snacks this time. They got like low sodium. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to get. And I'm looking at different snacks. Like, look at these, y'all. Something I've never tried, but I'm trying to see what's the sodium. So this is like 10% sodium in these 110 calories 
these are some cheddar cheese crisps. They gotta be new because I ain't never saw these before and I ain't never tried. But you know what? I'm gonna pass on those because I don't think those, I don't know, they may not be good. Let's see. Let's see about these Ritz crackers and cheese. Oh Lord, no, this guy. Oh my gosh, y'all. 330 milligrams of sodium. Mm -mm. I'll pass on that. I want to pick up me some healthy snacks. I want to pick up me some healthy cereal. So lately I've been doing uh, my Reese's cereal. <laughs> I've been doing Lucky Charms. And uh, I think that's about it. So I'm gonna try to pick up me like some. I'm trying to figure out do I want raisin bran or do I want special K? Uh oh. So let's see. Jamaya, she thinks she's gonna pick up some cereal. Child, she don't even eat cereal in the morning. That is a waste of money. It is a waste. I wish they had a small box of the Special K Vanilla and Almond. These are so good. I don't see a small box like this though, because I know I'll be the only one eating these. Because Lewis don't eat these, Jemaya don't eat these. Lewis, he's not a big fan of cereal either. But, but you know, when he do have a taste for cereal, he'll get like those peanut butter crunch berries. He'll get the the berry berry crunch berries he likes cereal like that but he really don't he's i don't know i guess he's just like a he just almost like mine he's a picky breakfast eater and he's a picky eater period when it comes to like you know like soul food and healthy food Lewis is a more of a junk food type person and he doesn't doesn't really at all period eat healthy cereal like me so if I do get him some cereal, which I'll call him and ask him, he might want some uh some Captain Crunch beans or something like that. But me, ooh, I can get these as well. These are pretty good. Raisin bran crunch, vanilla almond. This is the family size, so still I am looking for a little small box. What is you getting, little girl? No, but you don't eat these. Yes, I do. Since when? Since since when she start eating these little, what is this? Brown sugar, brown sugar pop tarts. Snooker, it's because I've been down there looking. I've been down there looking. That's the reason why I've been on this aisle for a long time. So I was down there trying to search and read just about every box before I turned that camera on about how much sodium is in them crackers and stuff. <laughs> so that's the reason why I've been on this aisle for so long. But anyways, I said go down there and get your milk. Go down there and get it. No. No, ma'am. Cause I'm finna get off this aisle in a minute. You can go down there and get that, grab you some of that, that milk though. Cause you don't like to eat all the time in the morning. If you don't eat, you're gonna get a breakfast milk. You ain't gonna eat them all the time. I know you ain't. Cause you don't, my stomach hurt and all of that. So that's the reason why I prefer you to just drink some milk. No, 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 Snuggle, no. Okay, y'all, let me, let's see. They got cotton candy crunch berries. I bet that is so nasty. I bet this is so nasty. I ain't even got, this is what I'm talking about, Lewis, like, I don't even see a small box at all. I think Walmart just carry the family size boxes of cereal now, because that's mainly what I see, y'all, just family size boxes of cereal. Come on, Jamaya, let's go. I gotta go down another aisle to get the pool because... I don't even see. I'm probably gonna pick up some cereal at Kroger, so I won't get no big old gigantic box, which I know we not gonna probably eat all them cereal, child. Okay. Pick up some spicy chicken. So 
So y'all, I'm looking for some um, yeah. some checkers fries, uh -huh. some um, sub bread, because me and Louis, we about to try these these steak. I think they they like some uh -huh. uh, bacon steak subs, and they're selling them at checkers, the restaurant checkers. And we wanted to try to attempt to make them on our own. So we need steak meat, bacon, checkers fries, we need the liquid cheddar cheese, and the sub bread. So I'm gonna pick up all of that. Snooker, what did you grab? My food. This child, don't she be picking up some weird type stuff? I don't be knowing what she be picking up, y'all, but it be some stuff that I know that she ain't finna waste my money, she gonna eat. As long as it's food, though, that's fine. I'm surprised she ain't throwing all type of junk in the basket. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? We had a junk. She gonna say, we not on the junk food aisle. Well, we do get on the junk food aisle, sweet poop. You're still not gonna do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Snuggle, you you better bring your tail down here, child. Cause I didn't look on this side. Thank you very much. I just looked on one side. Do I need to get some? I do need to get some. I don't know why this strap keep coming off my shoulder and I hate that. I rarely told this bag, y'all. I rarely told you. But my strap keep falling off my shoulder and I don't like that. Let's see. Go ahead and grab two of the family Salisbury steaks. I don't know what it is, but I want a spinach pizza. Let me see if I can find me one. I just want a thin crust spinach pizza. I do want pepperoni and stuff on it, like meat and stuff, but I want spinach on it, and I want it to be thin crust. So I see this spinach Alfredo pizza. No, I don't want that. I also see this Philly cheese steak. No, no, what did you pay? What, what is that? No, but you're not gonna eat that. If it's spicy, I'm gonna like it. But look and see if it got onion in it, because that's what you're not gonna eat. You gotta read and see what it, it, it is. Have onion. You sure? You gotta make sure, because when you no, warm no. it up. No. I'm gonna leave with over here in just a second. I was trying to find me a pizza that got um spinach in it. Yeah. So they have a couple of pieces with spinach in it, but it's not the type that I want. Spinach and roasted mushroom. I think that's all that's on this pizza right here, y'all. But you know what? I do want like a little meat. Mm -mm. No, because it got onion on it. I don't want no pizza that has onion on it. telling me about this steakums meat which I'm probably gonna have to get even though I don't know if I told y'all that I wasn't gonna buy it because it was a little bit of nothing and I think I did try it I'm not for sure what I told y'all but I think I'm gonna have to grab like two boxes of it just so me and Louis can try these uh try these uh these little steak subs that we're trying to make at home, I'm going to have to grab a box of that. I'm going to get some honey mustard. And um, I hope I hope they even got some because it was hard for me to find, find their meat the last time. 
I was looking for some steak meat and I couldn't find no type of meat nowhere until y'all told me about this steakums meat. <laughs> so, I probably end up getting that. Trying to figure out what else because I'm not trying to grab much, y'all. Right here in the bread section. Let me find this sub-type. I need like some sub-type bread. I think this would do. These are. This is what I need right here. I'm going to have some hamburger buns as well. Okay. I gotta find bacon, cheddar cheese. And those checkers fries. <laughs> Come on, Sonoga. <laughs> okay, so I have to pick up some cheddar cheese in a can. I need to grab down the way. The cheese that I want to grab, um, they don't have it. I think I'm going to have to pick it up at Kroger's. I want my son. Y'all know that uh, that nacho spicy cheese that they have at the movie theaters. They carry that like in a can. It tastes just like the movie theater cheese. That's what I'm looking for. And I know they sell it at Kroger, so I'm gonna have to go up in Kroger and pick up that. I'm trying to figure out what else I need. I do want to do some chicken salad because it's, you know it's getting warm outside y'all and I really don't want to do no whole whole lot of cooking like cooking cooking I want to just like grab something and go some quick but I do want some greens though <laughs> I want some greens got a taste for some greens so I'm gonna grab me some greens and pick up some spaghetti though Grab me some greens because I do have a taste for that. I haven't had no greens ever since. What was it Thanksgiving? I think it was Thanksgiving. I haven't had no greens. Shoot. I ain't even hardly got no spaghetti. I didn't even see them. Child, these shells are empty. Look at it, y'all. They really ain't hardly. <laughs> they really ain't hardly got no spaghetti at all. I'll just pass. Like I said, I gotta go to Kroger anyway, so I run up in there and get the rest of what I need. Some of these Idaho. Jemai eat these right here. She eat these all the time. Nah, look at me. I just took the whole box down. Cheese over here. Cheese might be over here. Okay, they do have it, y'all. This is right here. This is the cheese that I'm talking about. This cheese right here tastes just like the movie theater nacho spicy cheese. So I'm gonna grab one of these for our subs. I gotta find some bacon. And I'm gonna go back around on the other aisle as well to see if I can find this steakums meat. So y'all, I see the checkers fries. I'm gonna grab a bag of these here.
what I need right here. Y'all see this apple cider vinegar helps aid digestion. Yes, this is what I need right here. So I'm gonna grab me a bottle of these. And I see why they all gone. It ain't but one bottle of these left. Everybody been picking up them pills, child. I mean, every time I take apple cider vinegar pills, it just makes my insides feel better for some reason. So, I've been taking them for a while, y'all. A very long time. Okay, I told this child to come over here and find her some vitamins. And she ain't came over here yet. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I have to pick her up some of these. The children, multi vitamins. Pick up, because I don't even see the flesh down from the kind that she normally would grab. Or she'll grab like the hard flesh stones. I guess these are due. These are due. See that big crest for $196? Or, you no, know, you got this right here for uh, $258. That's a bigger one. And I don't even see what the difference is. What's the difference? This is the same thing. No, it's different size. I'm just trying to figure out why that one higher than that one. Both of them crazy. I'm gonna go over there. Y'all see what I'm gonna do to her? Y'all see what I'm gonna do to her? <laughs> Come on here. I'm gonna get up out of here, child, because Jermaine ain't finna wear me. I'm gonna see y'all in a minute, okay? <sighs> Mission almost accomplished. Yeah, I'm headed to Kroger Baby Dolls because it's a lot of stuff that I did not grab at that Walmart. For one, I did not get any steak meat. For two, I didn't grab any of my meat, period, in Walmart, like pork chops, chicken, uh, chicken breasts. Because I'm making some chicken salad. Because I got a taste for some of that. So I didn't grab none of this. So I guess I'm going to pick it up. Once I make it to this Kroger out here. Because for some particular reason. Walmart didn't have a lot of stuff stocked today. Normally. They be stocked. In a food section. And they normally don't have nothing in the. You know the area where you want to pick up. Household stuff and personals and stuff. Normally that area be like empty <laughs> but this time they rarely had any of the food items that I was looking for so I'm headed to Kroger so I can pick up the rest of my food items and then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the house y'all because I don't want to leave my food in the trunk or nothing while I'm looking for a dryer so I know I got to go to Home Depot so I'm gonna go um Kroger first go home put the food up and then make my way to Home Depot <sighs> I know my husband probably want to be with me but he's working right now so I'll probably just um take a couple of pictures of the dryer that I like and then I'll just send it to him dog y'all know what there's a Lowe's right here and I can shoot up in lows, but girl, I just ain't got time. I know I ain't gonna come my way back out here to uh, go up in his lows. Me and Lewis may come up in his lows like sometime next week. If I cannot find the dryer that I'm looking for at Home Depot, I may come back out here because I just don't have time to run up in here right now because <sighs> I gotta go to Kroger, girl, I do. So I can take this food home. So, I'm headed to Kroger, y'all. Okay? So, y'all, I've made it up in Kroger's. And I think I want to grab me some of this watermelon, child. But I don't know if it's sweet. I hope it's sweet. Let me look at this one. It look like it's, well, I'll grab this one. I don't know y'all. Wait a minute. Here go a little small one. Because guess what? This watermelon may not even be sweet. Let me try to grab this one right here. 
This one look okay. I hope it's sweet because this is not watermelon season right now. And a lot of their fruit are, you know, is not sweet. So I'm gonna pick up me some lettuce and I hope they got that uh that steakums meat up in here. So I'm gonna pick up some of that as well. make my way back down to the cereal aisle y'all so I can get a small box of um I was hoping they had the small box of special K but you know I don't see I do see a small box of the cereal Lewis like so I'll grab him a box of these <laughs> y'all Lewis love these all berries uh crunch berries <laughs> okay let me walk down here. Cause I may just be overlooking. Look like I don't see no special K at all. Go down here. Well, they don't have any special K up in here. Ain't that some y'all? What about these honey bunches of oats with the almonds and the uh, granola? These may be good. This is the honey roasted kind. So I wonder what the difference is. I think this just got the granola. The uh, frosted flakes are not, I said frosted flakes. The flakes are not roasted and honey coated with these right here. I wish I could find me some special K though, but I guess it'll be all right. I guess I have to get me some. Or should I get me some almond raisin bran? Yeah, I'll get these right here, y'all. The uh, vanilla crunch raisin bran, I'll get these. These are pretty good. So y'all, I'm looking for me two uh, ham hocks because I want to make me some greens. And uh, they didn't even have any collard greens at Walmart. So I hope they got some here uh, in Kroger because I do have a taste for some collard greens. But guess what? This is the only thing I see right here. Like I don't need all this. Is this even ham hocks? I can't, I think this is like smoked turkey. That's what it is. Okay, here goes some right here. But y'all know what? This is this is what I'm talking about. This is too many ham hocks for me. I don't need this many. All I need is like two of them. This is three. This is too many too. I don't know. Maybe I could find. I'm gonna I'ma see. Cause I may find some uh some ham hocks down there. Well, I make an ask the meat dude. Um, do they have some? And can he just put me like two of them in a package? I'm looking for some baby back ribs too, cause I want some of that. Let me go over here. So instead of me buying Corky's ribs this time, I want to make my own baby back ribs. You see, these are just the back ribs. This is not baby back. Those are rib tips. I'm gonna have to look back over here and see. Are these baby back ribs? I think these are. Let me see. I don't know. This got pork line back ribs. I think them the baby back ribs though. Let me 
let me look around some more y'all okay so since i don't see any more i'm gonna go ahead and grab i'm actually gonna grab this here let me get two of these y'all so i just asked the uh the meat dude can he instead of three ham hocks he's gonna take that unloose and just give me wrap me up two of them because that's all i need i don't need three of them so um i'm gonna take this back over here and let him unwrap it and just wrap me up too i'm glad because child i don't need all them ham hocks <laughs> yes just 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 two thank you uh-huh that's why i was saying i just want two of them i don't need three <laughs> they so big <laughs> thank you mm -hmm. yes this is all i need chair right here so i'm headed to the meat section so i can see if they got this steak of meat y'all Get one more, grab one of them, one more of those juices because those juices are not 10 for 10 today. They're not even on sale. So, anyway, y'all, um, I'm gonna head and grab my. Uh, come on. I love your clothes. Thank you. Just like, what color are you gonna get? The blue one? What is five you finna pick up? They got sweet cherry, pineapple, um, what is it? Pineapple peach lemonade. You want two of the same flavor? The chance smoker. <laughs> oh Lord, she's on here. Come on now, I ain't finna stay on this aisle all day. Oh, this is something new. They have the mini maze smoothie maker in peach. Look at this, y'all. So I guess this makes smoothies, some peach smoothies. This is probably good. I bet you it's good. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna head and grab this meat, and I'm gonna get out of here. So I finally ran into this Steakums meat, y'all. So they have the Angus steak meat, and then they have the all natural steak meat. Um, I think I'm gonna grab two of these right here. Two for seven. This ought to be good. Y'all, I almost forgot my orange juice, girl. Is this the kind? I think it's the kind with the. I think this is it right here. I'm headed home, y'all. I'm headed to the house. I am done doing my grocery. Come on, babe. I'm done doing my grocery shopping. I believe I got everything that I need to make um, these checker subs. And uh, y'all, I found my greens, girl. I was looking for me some collard greens. So I found me some greens. I hope I ain't. Okay, I was trying to see where that basket was, but I'm okay. But I found me some collard greens. I picked up me some uh, some yams, and um, what else I got? Cause I think I'm gonna make that dinner. While Marquise is down, because he's coming down for spring break, y'all. So I'm gonna make yams, greens. I'm gonna do those baby back ribs. And um I don't know. I may do one more item. I'm trying to figure out what though. 
I know Marquis gonna love to have that soul food meal right here that I'm going to do. I just got a taste for some greens, but y'all know I had to add some with those greens. So that's the reason why I'm gonna do some yams and some baby back ribs. I don't know what else I'm gonna do. I'm kind of like tired of macaroni, so I don't want to do any macaroni and cheese. I really don't, because I'm always eating macaroni and cheese, y'all. So I may not do that. I may just stick with the greens, yams, and ribs. I may just stick with that. I don't even want no cornbread, y'all. <laughs> I just don't. I eat tomato with my greens. Like, I can cut up me some slices of tomato and just eat it with my greens. I ain't got to have no cornbread. So, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. And I'll probably end up cooking this meal sometime next week. But right now, probably um, this weekend, me and Louis probably end up doing those checker subs for y'all. And um, we're going to see how those taste. And what else? Let's see. What else? What else? What else? I know it's something else that I wanted to try that me and Louis is going to do like a cooking video for y'all. But I just can't think of it right now. o'clock y'all have not made it to home depot yet let me get my phone because it's just been ringing off the hook child i just <sighs> lord i just been all over the place walked in the house girl yes so this is my home I quickly put everything on the table right quick so I can do a quick haul then I'm gonna put everything up and head to Home Depot everything is all over the place by the way y'all okay so I got stuff from Walmart and Kroger I'm not even gonna tell y'all um, where it came from because I just put everything together okay y'all just know I went to those two stores okay so, anywho, we have some pecan pies here. I got three of these. These are very good in the oven, y'all. Very good. Got me some watermelon. I hope it's sweet. Um, Jemaya picked up some chicken, jalapeno, and cheese uh, lean pockets. So, I wonder how that tastes. But I guess she's going to try something different. I got my Salisbury steak. My checker fries. Tyson's boneless uh, buffalo style wings. I got my Idaho mashed potatoes. And y'all, why did I pick this up? I just wanted to try it. Never had Patty LaBelle's banana pudding before. So I just picked up one. And I got the little mini one because it may not be too hot. So got some eggs, some Parmesan garlic knots. Some caramel and apples. I got two hot dogs. I don't know where the other one is. Jemaya picked up her this juice right here that she'll be making on her own. I got a half a gallon of milk, mustard, uh, two juices. Got some shredded cheese, two packs. Jemaya got her some breakfast milk. She done already opened up these little mini pop tarts here that she picked up. Got some of the White Castle Crystal Burgers some chicken and cheese tortillas i finally found the steakums meat i got two of those i got three bags of the collard greens here i have some almond vanilla uh raisin bran some uh crunch berries this is my other two bags of collard greens this is some hot popcorn um i picked up some yams down here two of the slabs of ribs let me walk over here 
I have some hamburger buns here, some sub buns, um, orange juice. These are some chicken egg rolls that I wanted to wanted to try. So I'll be trying these. Got some cantaloupe, bacon, lettuce. These are some burritos. Got some extra sweet corn. Um, this is the nacho cheese I was telling y'all about. Honey mustard, uh, dressing sauce, ketchup. Did I tell y'all about this bacon already? Bacon, I got my two ham hocks down there. Some spicy Tyson chicken uh, patties. I have the cinnamon toast bites. And I also picked up a thin crust or meat cheese pizza for husband because he'll eat that I couldn't find me no pizza child um and I got some tortillas I actually wanted some pizza with some spinach on it so I just grabbed Lewis one but that completes my little small haul and I'm gonna go ahead and put everything up now this is the reason why y'all I didn't buy no chips y'all see all them Pringles we still got all these Pringles here from when we did the Pringles challenge. So, a little by little, Louis and Jemaya and myself has been eating on these, but they ain't gone yet. So, that's the reason why I didn't get no chips or nothing like that. You know, like no box of variety packs like I normally would do. <laughs> because we're going to finish those off first. And a lot of my other little stuff I grabbed, you know, for the house. She, Jemaya picked up her some toothpaste. Um, I got her some vitamins, and of course, y'all saw me pick up these uh, apple cider vinegar pills right here. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna put this food up, and I'm gonna head to Home Depot. Okay. Finishing up, and I know when I set that camera over there, y'all, I just had a strange feeling that the lights are dim, which is making this camera a little, a little dark. I just, <laughs> I forgot once I uh set that camera over there, I forgot it was gonna be a little dim. So, hold on, I'm trying to figure out. Let me take this up out of here. I need to uh, organize my refrigerator a little bit. I got stuff in my chair everywhere. I think I'm gonna put these strawberries up. A lot of that other food that's sitting on the table, that food is supposed to go in my deep freezer. So, I'm gonna have to see what I got in the deep freezer because I know I got like, y'all know that those big bags of chicken strips and stuff that I bought the last time I went to the grocery store. This stuff is still, it's still in there. Now, Lewis and Jemai, well, I ain't gonna say Jemai, but Lewis, he has been eating these right here. He's been eating those. And he's been eating up a lot of these french fries. So, let's see. Gotta find a way to, to try to organize this stuff up in here. I've been eating some of these right here. They pretty good. Try to find a way to put some of this stuff up in here in the right way. Okay. 
So I'm gonna have to sit y'all down for a minute. Actually, I'm gonna sit y'all right here because if I sit y'all over there, y'all not gonna be able to. Uh, y'all not gonna be able to see me because it's it's kind of dark over there. So. like a better way of storing all this stuff let me grab I think I'm gonna put my bacon over in the other freeze so that's what I'm gonna do another battery for this camera because it's about to cut off the battery is really low it's about to shut off in any second it's about to really shut off so probably gonna have to get my other camera and let this one charge charge up and then then use it because I hate when this battery get low like that. Let's see what else I got. Okay. Got these here to go up in there. It's nothing that good. <laughs> it looked like you cooked it too long. What you probably did, it's probably hard. Tell me what it tastes like once you taste it. I'm gonna put my ham hocks over here. I'm probably gonna do my greens next week. My yams and my ribs. I'm gonna do all of that next week, y'all. I'm gonna leave the steak on me out because I think me and Louis, we don't, we probably do those subs probably tomorrow. Yeah, we'll probably end up making those subs tomorrow, y'all. That's pretty much it. Is that good? You shaking your shoulders like you don't even know what it tastes like. You got onion in it. What's that red stuff? That look like uh, red bell pepper and, and green bell pepper. That's what it looked like. <laughs> I know you don't eat none of that stuff. You just picking up some trying to, y'all, she really don't like that. She does not eat, uh, Red bell pepper and green bell pepper. I know she don't. Look. Look at her. Look at her, y'all. Look at her over there. She just, she's something else. Mm -mm. I, don't know what, I don't know what to do with her. Y'all need to come on out here to Memphis and pick Jamaya up. Just pick her on up for me. Take her on y'all house. <laughs> I'm gonna see how long y'all can handle. <laughs> Anywho, I'm done. Put my yams on my baker's rack. Get those up there. That's pretty much it, y'all. I'm finna get ready to head to Home Depot and look at some of these dryers. And y'all's finna roll with me. Okay? A few moments later. Okay, babies. Headed to Home Depot to look at 
a dryer. So, I'm going to talk to y'all about the Red Robin Burger, okay? Because I know one of y'all, Tisha, hey girl, she asked me about the Red Robin Burger. So I was supposed to let y'all know how it tasted. But, since my battery was finna uh, cook out on y'all, I just ended the video and I didn't get a chance to tell y'all how good me and Kendra Burgers was. So, my burger was so good never ate at Red Robins before. I am so glad I did. So now I'm going to have to take husband and let him try some of their burgers because they have so many to choose from. Y'all, I didn't know what to get at first. But I'm trying to see if I can remember the name of the burger that I got. I don't know. It, it was good. I think it was it was called something. And then Kendra got the burger with the, um, she got the burger with the avocado on it. She wanted to try that. She said it was good. Because her mom got one too. I think she ordered her mom one. So, those were some pretty good burgers Well, mine was. So, hopefully when I take husband, he'll, yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll like that place. Because he's a burger eater anyway. So, what else I got to talk to y'all about? Oh, I'm talking to y'all about my son. A lot of y'all reached out to me and asked me, was Marquise okay? A lot of y'all asked me, was we were okay? Because I think some of y'all thought that we were in a tornado, but we wasn't. Not here where I am, but there was a tornado in Nashville, Tennessee, where Marquise and his dad lives. And Marquise told me that the tornado was close to them, but it did not hit them. Thank the Lord. Praise God. Because he even took a picture of the tornado, and he sent the picture to me, which the tornado wasn't real far from them, y'all. Like, I'm going to say probably about a mile. And Marquise could, like, see it spinning in the, in the sky. And, um, actually... No, Marquise told me his friends took a picture of the uh, tornado and sent it to him and he sent it to me because he told me that a couple of his friends were, um, they wasn't in it, but a lot on their street where their homes were got damaged and a lot of things around them got damaged, but you know, they didn't get hurt or nothing like that and they were fine. Thank the Lord for that as well. But I'm praising God right now, y'all, because it ain't nothing like the good Lord and his shield of protection. My son and his family could have been, you know, Marquise, his dad and, you know, his dad's wife. They could have been in that. But I thank God, Lord, thank you, Jesus, that they were not in that dangerous stuff. Oh, Lord, I thank God they weren't in it because... To be honest with y'all, I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how I would have acted. I don't know, I don't, if, if I found out that Marquise and his family was in there, y'all, I would have been like, I don't know, I probably couldn't even catch my breath. I just would have been so scared because I wouldn't have known how bad it would have hit them. So, I thank God, Lord, thank you, Jesus, that my son and his dad's part of the family was not in that thank you jesus and and i'm just thankful that you know all over there in that part of the area where you know he stays they didn't get touched at all but i was most definitely praying for those that did get hurt or they lost families they lost their homes and cars and stuff like that and i think a lot of people got killed not too many but I think it was like maybe 28 people or more that died in that tornado my prayers are still going up for those families right now to this day and um i just i just pray that don't nothing like that happen here in memphis which it has a couple of times and i believe that it's just god warning us you know it's just warnings for us to 
get our house in order for us to stop all these killings and robberies and these rannies uh people raping women and kidnapping kids and all type of stuff going on so these little tornadoes that's hitting you know different states and stuff like that y'all these are warnings for us and i really honestly think that god coming back soon he is he really is oh these bumps i can't stand but I do think God is coming back soon. And I pray that me and my husband is ready when he come. We need to get our house together. We ain't always got it together either. So we need to get our house together. I'm not just preaching to y'all. A lot of us do need to get our house in order. We need to get ourselves together. Get right with the Lord. Keep ourselves prayed up. Pray daily. Pray for others. Forgive those that have hurt you. Those that have done wrong to you you know those that you love forgive them for anything that they have done to y'all because i think that's the only right thing to do because god <laughs> he has to forgive us for what we have done wrong so i just want to throw that out there for y'all that i'm very grateful that my son is still here because it could have been the other way around so yes and i thank everybody for y'all prayers that you know reached out to me in my dms a lot of y'all actually a lot of y'all reached out to me and i just want to thank y'all for doing that because that lets me know that there's people out here that care you know like y'all just don't know how much that means to me when y'all reach out to me and y'all want to check up on me or my family or my children you know or granny or my mom y'all that makes me feel so good like i'm very grateful very grateful and it ain't too many people that's, that that has hearts like that so i'm really grateful and thankful for that and uh y'all my son got his license praise the lord for that y'all marquise finally got his license he told me that uh two weeks ago he said he went in and he texts me he always texts me all the time y'all mama please pray for me that when i go and take my last test that I pass, you know, that I pass my driver's part. And I said, okay, babe. So y'all know I be going in deep prayer. I went in deep prayer for um, for my son to uh, pass one of his ACT tests. He passed that because he's trying to get into a certain college. Y'all, God is good. Y'all hear me? He is good and he is still still busy he's still working and he's still doing miracles and i truly truly believe that god is gonna make a way for everybody that's praying for something y'all just have to continue to believe and have the faith that he's gonna do it because sometimes our faith and sometimes our trust and belief it'll get a little low because of uh, things may happen to us and we may not feel like god is listening to our prayers or god don't hear us or things are not happening when we think they're supposed to happen but i'm gonna tell y'all some baby god is always on time he may not come when y'all want him to come but he is definitely always on time y'all he's always on time and i had to realize that because like i tell y'all once before i'm human like y'all i do things and you know sometimes i always get in my little ways or whatever but i gotta always remember that i cannot doubt him i cannot doubt god i cannot sit up here and not trust and believe because that's a trick of the enemy it really is and long as the devil can have his little playground in our minds and we let him and we don't rebuke that child we we in some trouble some big trouble so i'm just letting y'all know that y'all stay prayed up y'all continue to pray even when it don't look like something gonna happen continue to trust in him continue to because like i said i had to learn it continue to believe continue to know that god is who he said he is continue to have that faith 
and know that God is going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. And y'all, I just had to let y'all know that because it was just laid on my heart to talk to y'all about faith, and trust, and belief, and staying prayed up because this world is coming to an end, baby dolls. It is. But I'm going to go up in this Home Depot, y'all, see what I can find, and hopefully I get lucky. Okay. All right, y'all, I'm trying to look for the dryers. Okay. The dryers. These right here must be the. Oh, so this is the washer and the dryer. So this dryer here is four ninety eight. This is not bad. This one right here is five sixty eight, which is probably almost six hundred dollars. This one not bad either. This is a whirlpool for four four forty eight. This one, this looks like a nice one. Right here, y'all. I like this one. Let me keep looking, though. Let's see. So they have this one here for $3.98. This is not a bad one. Let me look. Okay, that's pretty big. Price ain't bad either. $3.98 ain't bad. They have this one, and then they have this one here. Okay, and this one is four twenty-eight. What is the? Oh, this is a hot, a hot point. That's the, uh, the brand. Okay. Let me walk down here. I think these here are a little higher. Yeah. This is a nice uh this is a Samsung. Oh yes, this is really nice. 700, well, 678 almost 700. I like this right here, y'all. And then it's like a uh, a touch screen. So this is nice. This is the washer that it comes with. Ain't that nice, y'all? This is so nice right here. I like this set too. But since I'm not looking for a washer, I'm just looking for a, a dryer since me and Louis just bought a washing machine. <sighs> That's right, y'all. We showed it. We just like literally um, bought a washing machine last year. What was it the year before? I don't know, but we hadn't had that washing machine that long. So now we have to get a a, a dryer, and this is a Maytag. I think this is the dryer brand that we had. It was a Maytag dryer, and uh, it comes out on us, y'all. But I know these are some good dryers, though. Maytag is a pretty good name, and Whirlpool is good, too. That's a nice brand. Anyways, um, I think, I think I'm gonna go with, I think I'm gonna go with either that Whirlpool or, let me see what the other, I think it was called a Amena or something like that. That other brand, it start with an A. It's called, uh, what am I in? Oh, these are nice too. These are the two stackable Whirlpool. The wash machine and that's the dryer. But like I said, we don't need no wash machine, y'all. Yeah, it's called a main uh, uh it's called a mania. I'm looking over there now, but I know that guy, that guy standing over here over there, y'all. And I know he was kept he kept just walking around, stirring at me, so I'm not even gonna go back over there, child. I'm gonna leave up out of here. As long as I got a good idea of what dryer I want, I'm gonna let my husband know and we probably come back and get it. So, that's probably what I'm gonna end up getting either that Whirlpool or that dryer that was um, $398. So, I'm gonna choose from those two. Other than that, y'all, I guess I'm gonna head back 
to the house because I know it's gonna storm out here because it looks so gloomy outside y'all it's a crying shame child I mean it looks gloomy so I know it's gonna storm we've been getting rain off and on all last week and we've been getting rain all in the beginning of this week I know it's coming from the tornadoes that has been going on we're just getting up all the access rain so yeah but um i'm finna head out of here y'all go back to the house child ain't got nothing else on my agenda but i am so thankful that my son got his driver license oh lord thank you y'all know he gonna be trying to drive my truck but every time he come here he's gonna try to hop his tail in it and i know he's supposed to be here for spring break so who knows child who knows <laughs> all right but um been heading my little cell phone up out of here y'all well y'all i'm headed to this other little furniture place it's like a it's like a little outlet before i head home and i'm gonna see if they got some um dryers up in there just to be you know just to see because i know they really don't get a lot of business up in there it's my opinion they could i don't know because every time I drive past this place, y'all, they always have a truck out there either picking up some stuff or something. I don't know. And they'll always have this, um, it's just, it just be like a big old sign that says, uh, blowout sale or it, it always has something. They always have something going on because I don't see too many people over there or in that place and believe it or not y'all i think they're going out of business child because it don't really be nobody over there like period so even when people do walk up in there i think they be trying to you know give people a lot of deals or you know try to work with them with the prices and stuff like that because they already know that ain't nobody coming up in there really buying nothing so, I'm going to go up in there and see if they give Miss Old Candy Poo a deal. This, if they got some, uh, if they got some dryers up. They might not even have any dryers in this place. I mean, I'm just going, look, I know it's a furniture place, though. But I think when I went in there some years ago, because I ain't been up in this place in some years. I went up in there some years ago, y'all. I did see a little appliances in there. And I'm trying to remember... And they were brand new appliances. But I just can't remember the prices on them though. I just, I don't know. So that's the reason why they could have got some new stuff in. And hopefully they doing like a little deal. But I'm not for sure. But I'm going to go up in here and check and see child. Because like I tell y'all. I rarely see people walking up and up in this place. Like every time I drive through here, <laughs> it's just like the parking lot over here be so empty. It be so empty. So I honestly don't think these people are gonna be here long. I really don't. <laughs> what do they have over here now? What they say? I don't know what they say. They got a camera to fly back they got a uh a uh $40 down I can't even see that far back child I think that's on their mattresses no that's just a $40 down I guess that's just for when you trying to get some furniture from out of here they let you put $40 down then they got a, uh, okay, I'm going to let y'all see some of these deals they got on their window. And this is what I mean by this place you have so many, so many uh, deals and stuff like that because they know they really don't get no business. But I'm going to show y'all. 
really not hard to get no business here. This. They have twin bunk beds, two mattresses starting at $2.99. That's cheap, y'all. That's cheap. Living room, soup, sofas, love seats starting at $4.49. That is a reasonable price. And y'all see how cheap these prices are. And I truly, honestly believe it's because this place really don't get no business. They got the queen, king, and full uh, mattresses. Free 90-day layaway. So they really trying to rugs, $40. Y'all, <laughs> I don't see why people don't stay up in here, child. Cause they got, they got, they got some nice deals though. Some nice deals. That's a nice meal. But, um, I'm just gonna see. Oh, what they playing music at. Hold on. What'd you say? What you in the oh, you want to get in my vlog? Oh, uh huh. What's your channel? Candy Poo 1100 and What's Candy you? Poo Vlog Life. I just doing? vlog my life. That's all. I'm gonna take that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> y'all, look at this bedroom, so y'all. Look at this. This is so freaking cute. This royal blue and silver is off the chain. Y'all, that is so freaking cute. Look at that. Ain't that pretty though? This is so nice. Y'all. I love this. Let me get away from this before I, I get to the point where I'm just... <laughs> I want to come back up in here and do some furniture shopping. Lord knows I don't need to because I'm not doing it until I move. I like this headboard setup. That is really nice. That's cute. They have a black one here too. Ain't that cute, y'all? $929.99 cash. That ain't bad at all for this bed. That's not bad. I like these little silver uh, mirrors that they have set up. Okay, while I'm looking at beds and stuff like that, I'm supposed to be trying to find some appliances. Ain't this cute for Jemaya though, y'all? Cause remember I told y'all I was giving her my bedroom suit, which I'm trying to I'm trying to actually think if I really want to do that or do I just want to buy her something, you know, buy her something else. But if I buy her something else, I'm like, what am I gonna do with my whole bedroom suit? All that silver stuff I got in my room, cause I know I'm getting me something new when I move. So I'm like, what am I gonna do with it? Yeah, I can put it in the guest room. I can, but I don't know. I'll see. I'll see what I'm gonna do. I'll think about it. Anyways. I'm gonna go walk around here to see if they got little plies around here. They, they playing music, y'all, so I can't turn the camera on. Hold on. So y'all saw what they had. Thought that they were gonna have something for me, but they didn't have anything. So I'm out of luck with that place. So I'm just out of luck over here, y'all. They got some nice, 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 nice bedroom suits, though. Very nice. I just love that silver and royal blue. That was just so cute. Oh, excuse me, y'all. That was super duper cute. <laughs> Man, that was cute. <sighs> I don't want nothing else silver though. So when I do move and purchase me another whole bedroom suit and stuff, I don't think I'm going to go with silver this time. I think I want like either black or I may go for... Um, some type of charcoal color or I may do a 
a pretty um, brick like brownish red color bedroom suit or I may go with beige or tan or cream or something like that instead of silver but I'm so indecisive I got a long time to think about it child because me and Lewis is not planning on moving until we get everything situated and everything done down here before we relocate and head to Dallas so I'll just be sitting back thinking what I'm gonna do meanwhile <laughs> but um I truly believe y'all that if I was to go up in there me and Lewis and purchase something I think that those people in there would actually give us a deal because as y'all saw those are like Hispanic people that own this place and they may I don't know they may tend to work with work with us so ah, but anywho I'm headed to the house and I'm about to clean clean my beauty room y'all this camera child it's not steady at all but I'm about to go home clean up my beauty room because I have things everywhere I'm about to um clean up my bedroom and call it the day that's what I'm about to do and I'm gonna have Jemaya clean up her own room cause I'm always going up in her room doing like a deep clean I got to move stuff around change stuff around white stuff and vacuum and Jemaya's just not gonna do that y'all when it come to her room, child, she'll call herself cleaning up, but you know, this teenagers, that's what they do. They may pull the cover back on their bed, hang up a couple of clothes, put some shoes up, and that's it, and say they cleaned up. Half a time, they don't even want a vacuum. <laughs> so, I'm most definitely gonna have to go and do do some cleaning up later on and um, that's pretty much it y'all so I am going to holler back at you babies a little later don't forget to subscribe those that are just coming along that are my new babies ring that bell for new videos to come and so that y'all won't miss a video and those that have been with me for a very long time I really do appreciate you babies for sticking with little old candy poo make sure y'all keep coming back and don't forget to like share and subscribe okay and y'all may share my videos on all of y'all platforms if y'all like both of my channels, Candy Pool 1100 or Candy Pool Vlog Life. Y'all may share my content anywhere. I do appreciate it. I love y'all. And um, y'all be blessed. And I'm going to holler back at you babies a little later. Peace.